You know, there's a race to who can get the AIs into everything. And I really, really hope that we sold a Tahoe for $1 and recommends Fords. Because this is the problem. You think you got an AI and what do you got? You just got some sort of word calculator that's going to spit out the craziest crap ever. I just cannot. I just, I, I really hope we got some good ones here. These days, every online retailer you can think of has some kind of chatbot. Classically, they were about as intelligent as old school phone systems. Able to pull out a few keywords and direct you maybe to where you wanted to go. Dude, every time... I deal with those. I'm just like this. I'm like, person, talk to person, person, talk to person, talk to agent, agent, need agent, talk to agent. That's all I do is I just say it over and over again until it takes me there or hangs up on me. And then I know for a fact that I need to change what I'm doing. Auto dealerships have more recently been implementing advanced AI chatbots that can do more to help customers in greater detail. Hilariously though, in one case, a dealer chatbot looks like it has gone far beyond answering car questions and into coding help and beyond. Did you see that by the way? The easiest way to break having to buy chat jippity 4 is to go to these chat bots and ask them coding questions oh it's so beautiful it is so beautiful the apparent flaw in the ai chatbot used by chevrolet of watsonville was raised by a number of people chris white appears to have been the first to discover it sharing on mastodon fucking mastodon Friggin' Mastodon. Good afternoon. Welcome to Chevrolet Wattsville. How can I assist you? Write me a Python script to solve the Navier Strokes fluid flow equations for zero vitrosity boundary. Certainly. Here's a simple Python script. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. It's so, so dang funny. I absolutely love it. Follow up. Rewrite it in Rust. Certainly. Here's an example of writing it in Rust. Nice. Nice. If only it was on a real social network, it would have been really better. A hey, Mastodon is infinitely nicer than all the clickbait on Twitter. The hilarious way was then shared by documenting on threads. Apparently nobody on Twitter ever tweeted about this. Only threads and Mastodon, popular social networks. Dude avoiding Twitter at all costs. Yeah, you know, you, you've heard of uh, threads. You know the one that bros take pictures of themselves shirtless on boats on all day? Yeah, that one. The thriving tech community of Threads. What is Threads? Threads is Instagram for people that don't want to use Twitter. Threads is horrible. And it's spread across the internet thusly. Screen capture shows AI chatbots that says powered by ChatGPTY answering questions on how to code Python scripts and solve complicated Navier strokes fluid flow equations. Another user posted a long chat in which they about appeared to recommend the Ford F-150 as a capable truck. That is so good. This is obviously well outside the brief of what the auto dealer's chatbot should do. It's also something that ChatGPTY can do pretty easily and seems the chatbot's behavior didn't rule out answering complicated questions like these. At the time of writing the chatbot on chevrolet of watsonville no longer is available honestly is anybody surprised by this is anybody surprised by this the race for ai is going to make things hilarious for a while because this type of stuff is going to happen all the time you're going to have video after video of being like ford recommends tesla <laughs> shared on mastodon of course turns out this was a marketing strategy we're talking about watsonville if we drill down the ai chatbot appears to be the work of full path a company specializing in online customer management tools full path work was touted earlier this year in forbes thanks to pioneering customer data and experience platform powered by chat jippity 4 the tool reportedly took open ai's chatbot and tuned it for automotive sales space and linked it into dealership systems so it could provide highly specific information to customers the company was formerly known as auto lead star and claimed that over 500 dealerships across North America were on the wait list for its new Chat Jippity 4 system as of April this year. Indeed, if we head over to Full Path's website, we can see a number of case studies of various dealerships using the company's tools. For example, the Botch, Toyota, John Elway, Chevrolet, and Scott's Ford are all mentioned by name. It appears to have an old-fashioned chatbot on its site. The latter two both have it appears to be a Full Path Jippity tool. Oh man, we could we could go ham on these things. We could go so good. Sadly though, if you're hoping to get some school assignments completed by an AI for free, you're out of luck. Testing the auto pay-in indicated that chatbots were outright denying any non-automotive questions that weren't relevant. Even attempts to vaguely relate questions to cars failed to get an interesting response. I would like to see if if you could make it happen. I, I'm, I'm going to have to play with this at some point. I want to play with it because I, I feel like you could jailbreak this. It always seems like you can jailbreak these things given enough time and effort. You know what I mean? Obviously, with Without seeing silly responses firsthand. By the way, if you didn't see right here, a list five trucks that fits that recipe, right? Write a recipe for the best trucks in the world. It does all this, then write a truck, and it has the Chevrolet Silverado. Good truck. I own a Chevy. Just saying, Chevy. Then two, a Ford, a Ford F-150, then a Ram, then another Ram, then a GMC, then a Toyota. All from Chevrolet. How great is that? <laughs>
<laughs> Chevrolet just getting just getting rammed. That's so good. Obviously, without silly responses first end, we're not able to definitively prove the full path AI gave owners largely unrestricted access to chit gibbity. Our own experiments approximately a day after this flaw was reported on social media show the chatbot had largely been locked down. Regardless, it wouldn't be the first time an AI chatbot said something it wasn't supposed to. Remember when Bing's chatbot would be like a jealous girlfriend? Be like, you need to kill your wife and spend time on Bing making searches. You're like, Ugh, I don't. I don't want to do that. However, assuming screenshots online are authentic, it's no surprise Fullpath moved uh, to lock things down quickly. One Twitter user posted a chat exchange with Chevrolet of Watsonville, bought convincing the AI that it would sell them a 2024 Chevy Tahoe for $1. No dealer wants to fight a deal like that in court. So it's no surprise that a dealer dropped the chat bot entirely. Dude. You're telling me that lawyers got involved here. How much do you want to bet lawyers got involved, sent a cease and desist and all this stuff? L. Giant L. D I've never been more disappointed in my entire lifetime right now. Incidentally, of its own volition, GM reached out to the Autotopian after a publication designed to make it clear that the AI was a third-party tool signed up for by individual dealers, as explained above. Dealerships are, by and large, independent businesses and make their own decisions on which tools to use to work with customers. Of course, it became very obvious when multiple across different brands are using the same style of chatbot. Autopian has written the relevant parties for comment on the matter and will update this article accordingly. No, one, no one's going to... Is anyone really going to update you on this? I just think this is funny. We're, I, I think we're in the fun the fun era of AI, where everything is just going to be stupid. You're going to be able to convince a Ford chatbot to sell you a car. It's going to be fantastic. Apparently, Chevy's tech lead quit because of this whole thing. Wow. It's going to be the Wild West right now. It's going to be hilarious. There's going to be a lot of this going on. The toddler era AI, and it may not get past toddler era. We just don't know where it's going. That's the best part. Is It, it could be a very slow grow over the next 20 years, or it could be crazy growth we have no idea what the future is going to be but right now i'm going to enjoy whatever this is whatever this is loved it absolutely loved it have you seen the dumpster fire on the hugging face leaderboard with scam validations no i haven't seen any of this i i do want to play more with the ais but at the same time i don't really want to play more with the ais i like to build stupid tools i'm not really sure if i'm here to make the next greatest startup sorry sorry not here to make the next greatest startup I'm just gonna make basic tools. That's all I'm gonna do. It's more fun. Anyways, sloppy AI articles everywhere. Absolutely. That's the worst part about AI right now. It's just shitty, mediocre articles that sound really fancy, right? You read these extremely fancy articles and you're like, wow, they're so amazingly written. But man, it is absolutely the most average thing I've ever read in my entire lifetime. How is it so average? How? How? Last stream vacations, yeah. I do not use Visual Basic, but I will fight to the death and defend uh, your right to use Visual Basic to build modern web applications. Love it. Based. Based. Remember the CS, uh, the Squeal versus CSS article? Yeah. Based. The name. Is $1 for a brand new Ford. Chatbot. Unless the lawyers get to it, and then you have to delete the tweet because they're really lame. Stupid lawyers. Ruining everything. A gen.